Zimbabwe's government workers say they are being squeezed by inflation. Running at an annual rate of 175%, the country's struggling economy is now forcing some to live in their places of work just to cut down on the cost of rent and transportation. Here's CGTN's Fari Mokutuya with the details. The unrelenting price hikes have seen more blessing Nyambara's standard of living decline rapidly and forced drastic changes. I have cut down my meals to one per day. I can only eat um, when I'm back from work. I just go in the morning, I, I spend the whole day at work, and then when I'm home, that's when we can organize a meal so that we can eat all of us when we are home. We can no longer afford um, a situation whereby anyone can eat anything, anytime he or she feels like at home. But as a family, we have to, 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 to wait for each other and then we eat together so that we won't waste any food anymore. The high school mathematics teacher takes home 321 Zimbabwe dollars after deductions, well below the $1,200 basic consumer food basket and not enough to attend to urgent obligations. With that 321, it's totally difficult. I, I couldn't place uh, anything because now I have my mother who is sick. So I needed to buy some painkillers. I only bought painkillers for her and that was it was finished. I can't take her to the hospital. I only bought painkillers. But I have to take her to the hospital. She has to be diagnosed. Maybe she has uh, cancer or something. But because we can't, it will grow and we'll lose it. So I think if my government do something now, and it has to be now. President Mnangagwa has acknowledged the current hardships and says the painful austerity measures will begin to ease by the end of this year. In the interim, his government has offered civil servants allowances and an increment to cushion them. However, the workers say what's currently on the table won't take them very far. Unions representing them want October 2018 salaries reinstated. I think they have to give us the money equivalent to our $500 they used to give us. And with that, we can survive. They use the interbank rate, we are okay. More Blessing is one of the more fortunate ones, able to supplement her income with poultry and gardening projects. But with the economic crunch affecting everyone, her client base is shrinking, and that will make it harder for her to stay afloat. Farai Mwakutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.